tick-borne illnesses are another big visit. They're always scary. Ticks can be found in hair, underneath clothing. We usually get ticks from wooded areas or out in those high grasses. So if your kid's been in those areas, it's important to come in and check their skin every day during their bath time to make sure that there's no, there's no ticks. Ticks can fall off on their own. It usually takes three to six days before that happens. But if you see a tick, we want you to remove it. We want you to use tweezers. Don't use the credit card or the alcohol or even a lighter to try to remove those ticks. We want you to take tweezers, get them at the body close to the head and lift straight up. Not every tick bite needs to be seen, okay? I know it's scary, but not every tick causes disease. The chances of getting a tick-borne illness are pretty rare. And ticks need to be embedded for at least 24 hours and up to 72 hours before they cause a problem. Things that um, are scary with ticks. Fever that lasts past four days. Big time headaches. Neck pain, joint swelling or redness, or those bullseye rashes that happen at the site of the tick bite. All those things need to be seen by the pediatrician. You can do your best to prevent bug bites and tick bites by wearing DEET, okay? DEET 10 to 30% is just fine. You can put it over top of your clothing. You can put it on exposed skin. If you're gonna put it on your face, just rub it on your hands first and then apply it to the face. And avoid hands of little kids because they're gonna put those in their mouths. So we don't want them to ingest the DEET, but we want it on all exposed areas. You can also avoid brightly colored clothing. Um, you can avoid stagnant water, leftover food, boiling flowers, all those things are reasons to draw in bugs or ticks. So avoid those things.